All right, we're on today's six of training camp, the second day of full pads. We got Elijah Moore making a nasty one-handed grab. George Fant finally takes the field, and Sauce Gardner, oh, he's going to be special. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name is Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, we are talking day six of training camp. We got the second day of full pads. We got a little bit to go into, so let's jump on into it. First thing up, we got Elijah Moore making a filthy one-handed grab, like uh, an absolutely dirty one-handed grab. He has no right making that catch, but I hope he makes it over and over again, because this kid is absolutely incredible. Not even just Elijah Moore, but the wide receivers in general. Garrett Wilson had a really nice grab. By all reports, Denzel Mims had a pretty good day today. He's actually working with a little bit of the special teams unit. It looks like he was practicing with maybe the Gunners on special teams, so I think he's probably understanding and realizes he's going to have to do a little bit of special teams work if he's going to try and compete on this roster. But across the board, as a receiver, Mims has looked well. Looks well. Looks good. Uh, Elijah Moore, Corey Davis making some nasty catches. Braxton Barrows had a good back shoulder catch on the sideline uh, when they had the drills of them backed up along their uh, their goal line. So really cool from all our wide receivers. This is something that we've just we've needed for the longest time. So seeing our receivers do well is really, really nice here. And then next up, we got George Fant coming back. Uh, started the offseason on the pup list. Obviously came off that coming into training camp, and he finally got his first day of practice today. It looks like they work, start working him into the ones about halfway through the day, which is definitely good for Jet fans because Connor McDermott got blown up by Carl Lawson again today. Carl Lawson, look, don't get me wrong, back up left tackle, going against a stud edge rusher in Carl Lawson. You're going to have a little bit of a discrepancy there, but it's going to be really nice to have George Fant back in the backfield to protect Zach Wilson's blindside because as Zach Wilson said, Carl Lawson is spending way too much time hanging out in the backfield back there. So it's really good to get George Fant back. And then I want to talk a little bit about our boy Sauce Gardner. He is, oh man, <laughs> I said this during the, uh, you know, the, the we're back training camp video with the fans and everything, but Sauce Gardner is a freak. <laughs> He's an absolute monster. This guy is so big. The wingspan is so massive. He's just able to, he's able to do things that other corners just can't do. He shouldn't be allowed to do this. It's amazing. And he's a rough dude. He's not, he's not going to screw around. He will like, he's going to get some penalties this year <laughs> for, for some illegal holding, I think for sure. But he actually swatted down a pass meant for Elijah Moore. He also put the heat on Zach Wilson, blitzing off the edge. Zach had to just throw it in the dirt. Otherwise he was taking a safety. So Sauce as a blitzer, Sauce as a coverage guy is just everything that has been, uh, you know, everything that was built. And by all reports, it looks like the Houston Texans are in a little bit of maybe buyer's remorse right now because Derek Stingley Jr., from what I've been hearing, has not been having a good camp. And Davis Mills, their quarterback, has not been having a good camp. So, like, <laughs> if Stingley's blowing coverages and Mills can't hit him, it's Texans probably regretting not taking Sauce Gardner right now, and I am loving it. All right, boys and girls, that's going to be it for today's recap. We're going live, talking Jets panel at 8 o'clock, so i got to rip this video <laughs> onto, the, uh, onto the internet, and then uh, I'll see you guys 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock with Green Bean tonight. Uh, make sure you tune into that. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and as always, go Jets!